Welcome to Crane Pumps and Systems. As a company devoted to excellence in service and support, we've created this video to help make your installation job easier. It includes step-by-step -step instructions that take you through the entire process. And it's a great supplement to the Barnes Ecotran installation and operating manual. The Barnes Ecotran pressure sewer system is designed to handle routine residential sanitary sewage applications, providing many years of dependable service. So if you're ready to begin, let's get started. As always, your safety comes first, so make sure you read the safety first section of the manual before you begin. Also, be sure to contact your local utilities company before you dig. Always disconnect the source of power from the pump to reduce the risk of electrical shock. Never handle connected power cords with wet hands. Keep clear of suction and discharge openings. And never insert your fingers into the pump when the power is connected. Before you head out to the job site, you'll want to make sure you have all the necessary equipment. To install the Barnes Ecotran system, you'll need a large nylon lifting strap, 5-inch hole saw, electrical multimeter, and electrical maker. A complete list of items needed for installation is included in the manual. Open the Ecotran package by cutting the box on the dotted line. Roll the tank to the upright position and remove the level control from the pod. The Barnes Ecotran system package contains the tank, level control, parts box, pump, and rock cover. You will find located inside the rock cover a list of all the components within the package as well as the instruction manual. The riser pipe, available in various lengths, is shipped external of the package system. Before you begin digging, calculate the required depth of the hole using the formula shown in the installation operation manual. Add the package depth plus the amount of bedding under the tank. Then subtract 2 inches. Keep in mind that the depth may vary depending on the frost line. Prior to pouring ballast, verify the proper level of fall from the home to the basin inlet. Use a transit stick to measure the depth of the hole. When excavation is complete, Add four to six inches of crushed rock or pea gravel, then use a tamper to compact the bedding material. There are two recommended methods for ballasting, poured in place or precast. Ballasting using either method requires a minimum of one-third cubic yard of concrete. Move the basin into the pit using either a load-rated cloth lifting strap or load-rated spreader bar. Refer to the manual for detailed instructions on these methods. Orient the inlet. There are three possible directions to eliminate the need for elbows and maintaining the proper slope or fall requirement to the inlet. Make sure it's level within a half of a bubble. If it isn't, lift the tank from the hole and level out the bedding material. Be sure to keep the tank free of debris during the entire installation process. If the unit was not pre-ballasted, ballast the unit with one-third yard of concrete. Be sure to apply a minimum of four inches of concrete above the rebar. Once the unit is level and ballasted, you may partially backfill the hole to below the discharge and inlet opening. Determine the required height of the riser. If necessary, cut the riser to the appropriate length as shown in the manual. When possible, use as much of the riser to increase your storage capacity. Prepare the seals with the provided lubricant. Start with the seals white lines pointing toward each other. Roll the gasket into the groove of the riser until fully seated. Upon proper installation, you will see the taper on the outside facing inward. It is important to orient the gaskets as shown. Refer to the manual for detailed instructions. During this process, make sure the gaskets are free of debris. Push the riser into the basin until it is fully seated. Using the pilot holes in the top of the basin, secure the riser with the provided hardware. Note that the screws must be aligned with the valley of the riser. Install the adapter to the top of the riser. Follow the same procedure as attaching the riser to the basin. 
Apply pipe dope to the flexible discharge fitting, then tighten the fitting into the brass discharge flange. Cut the inlet pipe to the required size. Determine which inlet opening to use and drill the opening using only a 5 inch hole saw. Install the flexible inlet fitting onto the inlet pipe and push the pipe into the basin inlet until the pipe reaches the built in pipe stop. Tighten the clamps. Apply thread sealant to the direct burial conduit adapter and thread into place. Clean and glue the conduit fitting. Then insert into the adapter, orienting the end of the conduit to the power supply. Run the direct burial cable to the control panel. Using clean, dry approved material, backfill and tamp to ASTM specifications to prevent damage to the inlet pipe. Refer to the installation and operating manual for a detailed illustration. Refer to the manual for instructions on mounting the alarm box. Use the mounting parts located inside the box. Keep in mind that all penetrations should be made on the bottom, not the back, and NEMA 4 fittings must be used to maintain the enclosure rating. Now it's time to install the pump harness. Secure the rope to the handle of the movable fitting and to the eye bolt on the pump. Refer to the manual for step-by-step -step instructions on how to tie a bowline knot. Insert the cord plug into the level control, making sure that the mark on the cord aligns with the hole on the terminal block. Tighten the bolts until the flanges compress against the top level of the control. Next, connect the level control cord in the housing with the small pins and the power cable with the large pins. Tighten the bolts. Make sure the donut portion of the check valve is engaged in the pod or pump orienting device. Then lower the pump until it rests on the built-in stop. Pull on the green cord to open the shutoff ball valve. The red cord closes the valve. Lower the level control into the pocket next to the pump. To test the power to the pump, remove the level control and turn it sideways. Tilt the level control horizontally with the diaphragm pointing upward. The pump should start. After you've tested the pump, turn off the power. For complete startup testing procedures, refer to the startup sheet in the installation and operation manual. Place the O-ring on the adapter and align the locking tab and the eye bolt. Twist the cover clockwise until it stops. Then place a lock through the eye bolt and adapter locking tab. Finish backfilling, being careful not to hit the cover. To prevent unauthorized access to the alarm panel and station, use the padlocks provided or appropriate lockout devices. If there are any problems, refer back to the installation guide or contact Crane Pumps and Systems customer support. Thank you for choosing the Barnes Ecotran Pressure Sewer System. And remember, when it comes to moving solutions, Crane Pumps and Systems is the answer.